Australia is one of the largest countries in the world, although the country's territory is largely a desert. That's why people prefer to live in cities, which have undergone huge developments even if we only look at the last couple of years. This is an essential consequence of the country's growing economy. From building metro networks to the 2032 Olympics, these are Australia's biggest mega-projects that will lift the country. Number 10. Square Kilometre Array The Square Kilometre Array, or SKAA for short, is a $2 billion research-related project in Western Australia. More precisely, divided between Australia and the Republic of South Africa. When ready in 2028, it will be the most powerful radio astronomy facility in the world. The Australian part will contain 130,000 antennas, in 250 smaller groups, in 500 different locations. From a scientific point of view, it is important that it is located in a radio quiet zone, i.e. in the middle of the desert, but this also makes construction difficult, since the location is, among other things, far from roads. With the project, they will be able to observe various astronomical things, but also things like supernova explosions, dark energy or black holes. It has been under construction for 30 years. Number 9. Western Sydney International Airport Sydney's current airport is Kingsford Smith International Airport, which is not suitable for expansion due to its location. This is because the creation of artificial islands again directed into the sea would lead to environmental problems and noise pollution. But more and more people want to travel to the country, so a new airport must be created before 2030. The new airport is 44 kilometers from the city center, next to a town called Badgeries Creek. Although it is far from the center and this would result in significant commuting problems, the new location would allow continuous expansion, and the longest runway would thus be 3,700 meters long. It will handle up to 10 million passengers a year when it is ready in 2026. It will cost $4 billion. Number 8. Western Sydney Infrastructure Plan The next project is also being built in New South Wales and is aimed at the development of motorways. The project was for 10 years, so they want to implement all projects in that time. Among other things, it will have influence on the service of the aforementioned Western Airport. It includes six projects, including the development of certain roads to four lanes, an east-west connection between the M7 and the North Road, or the repair of a 10-kilometer road section. All of these are already ready, but it includes a $200 million package for municipalities for minor road repairs, these still have to wait. The entire project will cost $4.4 billion. Number 7. Cross River Rail Brisbane is the fastest growing city in the country, and in recent years more and more skyscrapers have appeared on the cityscape. This is no coincidence, as the 2032 Olympics will be held here. However, the city does not have a normal transport system apart from the bus network. A solution for this would be the 10.2 km long rapid transit with six stations, which is planned to be built by 2026, by which time it would speed up the city's traffic. It would also pass under the river, thus connecting the two parts of the city, for which there is currently no alternative. Currently, the project is under construction, its implementation will cost $6.3 billion. Number 6. Snowy 2.0 Australia places special emphasis on the use of environmentally friendly technologies. In 1974, the country shocked the world with the Snowy Mountains Project, a hydroelectric program that still supplies 4 million households in Sydney, Melbourne, and Canberra with 16 dams and a 146-kilometer tunnel network. Snowy 2.0 will connect two dams using a 27-kilometer motorized hydropump waterway. All this may sound interesting, but the construction did not go smoothly, the three tunnel boring machines used for the construction had to deal with serious problems. Once a dangerous substance was found and once a sinkhole opened. The price was estimated at $1.3 billion in 2020, it is now $8 billion. It will be ready by 2028. Number 5. Bruce Highway Upgrade the Bruce Highway is a vital corridor spanning nearly 1,700 kilometers between Brisbane and Port Douglas, connecting major coastal areas to the rest of Queensland. It not only enables regular freight but also supports the shipping industry, which transports products from inland regions to ports and other population centers. Construction began in 2013 and will cost the government $8.5 billion. The goals of the project include increasing highway safety, increasing capacity, and guaranteeing flood resistance. After 10 years of consistent improvements along the highway, the Bruce Highway Upgrade Program will be completed by 2028, 
although the Australian government is likely to add more projects as work continues. Number 4. Westgate Tunnel The next project is being built in Melbourne, and it would connect two important roads, the M1 and M2, through a tunnel. It would consist of two tunnels, each with three lanes. The length of the tunnel would be 4 kilometers, and it would also pass under the Mary Bernong River, branching off in several places, so it would be possible to go to the airport. On the other hand, many city planners believe that the project will not reduce, but rather increase traffic in the city center, making the project more harmful than useful. Also, like most back roads in Australia, it would be told. It is planned to be implemented by 2025, is currently under construction, and will cost the government $8.5 billion. Number 3. Metro Tunnel Let's face it, Melbourne subway is more like suburban trains than a normal MRT. Except that it would run underground in a circle in the city center. We will talk about a Melbourne Metro extension later, but this project, on the other hand, aims to develop this suburban-like line, namely with a 5-station, 9-kilometer long line extension by 2025. Two tunnels will be drilled between South Kensington and South Yarra, and the aforementioned loop will also be affected at two stations. The line has been under construction for quite some time, and it will be completed slowly, in 2019. At the start of construction, it was said that it would be handed over in 2026, but it seems that it will happen earlier. The project cost $11 billion but is likely to improve public transport for Melbourne. Number 2. Sydney Metro Another subway project follows, this time in the most populous city, Sydney. Part of the project is currently ready in the northern part of the city, but additional stations will be opened in 2024. And by 2056, they want to create a network as shown in the picture, with four metro lines. This is necessary because the city is currently only served by suburban trains, and there is no normal fixed track rapid transit transport network. A key element of the project will be the section under the bay, which had to be specially designed to withstand a large load. The metro trains are manufactured by the French company Alstom, they are automatic and have six cars to ensure efficient travel. The length of the main line will be 66 kilometers, and have 31 stations but this transport development will cost about $25 billion, the 2056 plan is further increasing the costs. Number 1. Suburban Rail Loop We already mentioned a metro project in Melbourne, now let's talk about Australia's biggest mega project, which is currently unlikely to be completed. In addition to the current subway lines, trams are also used for transportation, but these mainly affect the city center. The Suburban Rail Loop, or SRL for short, includes a subway line that would connect the busier points of the suburbs. The line will be 90 kilometers long when it is completed. The project was announced in 2018, but now the project has been cancelled due to its ever-increasing cost. It is no coincidence that it was initially estimated at $33 billion, but today it would cost $133 billion to build. In addition, many other projects are under construction in Australia. How did you like them that you saw in the videos? Which one was your favorite? Write your opinion in the comments and don't forget to support the channel with your subscription. Thanks for watching, see you in the next time.